Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're in the car, we're heading down to Super Cheap Auto. Stay tuned. Hi guys, we are in the car heading down to Super Cheap to get some paint. It's a freaking hot day today, having no AC in the skyline. It got up to about 43 degrees Celsius, but I believe it's starting to cool down. It is Friday today, Saturday and Sunday around about 23 to 25 degrees, which is perfect for painting. So I thought I'd go down and get some clear coat from the top coat for the bonnet. I'm going to start painting the bonnet over the weekend. I've got primer, I've got the base coat and the pearlescent coat and I'm going to go get the clear. Oh it's hot. I know I said I need AC in this and it's going to get belts but the belts are useless if I can't get a condenser and a regas. I haven't booked in for that yet, so I'll get the paint because I can do that in the next couple of days. So, when I start doing the painting, it'll actually be tomorrow, but it'll be this episode, guys, so stay tuned. Alright, guys, the reason why I chose paint over wrap is a lot of people with V35s have said that their paint flakes too, and even a couple have had wraps, and when they've taken them off, they've taken all the paint off as well, so going to paint it. People said once you paint it yourself it should be good um, but factory Nissan paint on these are shocking. Uh, I've seen quite a few photos with chips and whatnot out of bonnets and mirrors and boots so I'll just paint it. Hopefully it'll be alright. haven't had any chips off the bonnet yet definitely had time to cure on there so bake actually definitely bake today right got my refreshment got my clear gonna head home clean up a bit tonight in the garage and um, get stuck into it tomorrow on Saturday morning hopefully it lays down pretty well Hopefully I got enough colour and pearlescent to cover as well because that was 70 bucks for those so let's go get some more mixed up and I really don't want to but anyway Alright so I washed my car this morning it's dirty again and just before it was like 43 degrees now it's 19.3 degrees same day, that's Melbourne for ya. Just cleaning up here tonight, and then tomorrow we'll get stuck into painting the car. Alright guys, so I'm just going to be doing the bonnet in this episode. The front guards need work, so they can wait. Um, also been told it's top coat that adheres badly to the primer on these, so do the best we can and um, make sure it adheres good, so Hi guys, it's Saturday. Run out of painter's tape. I can't find where my masking paper is. I'm gonna have to go get some more. Um, still haven't cleaned or sand primer, so I might as well just take my car. 
because I haven't started prepping it yet, so off to Bunnings. Not gonna take my car, it's starting to rain. I'll take the Peugeot. Alright, so I'm back. I'm gonna wet sand this, clean it up. As you can see the bird poo has left a stain. Burnt into it, so I'm gonna sand it back. Nice light sand. I'm cleaning up with some wax and grease remover. Alright, so I just use 1200 grit just to go over it. <clears throat> Think of it like um, a clear coat, leave it for a few weeks, do a wet sand and then polish. That's pretty much what I did, just so it would bake. Because the bonnet is aluminium, if you didn't know. And this tends to happen. So I want a really good base, which this is the base. And then we want to lay on the, the base coat um, really, really fine. I just should. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to clean this up. Alright, so I need to dry it off now and get the wax and grease remover onto it. And then the garage door is coming down, not to be open for a while. Alright guys, I've masked off the area, I've done some Wax and grease remover as well. I'll do. Uh, I'll just use microfiber cloth um, just to wipe it down. Stick you guys back up onto the, the window. This will be coming down. Then I'll be wiping it and putting the first dusty coat on. So here's all my paint that I'm using. <laughs> I don't think these people know what they're talking about. Ground coat. Should be base coat, and we've got top pearl. It's got the white pearl, then clears. Hopefully, it's enough to do this. Alright, guys, it is pretty damn dark in here. It's going to be hard. Lucky I'm doing white and not grey. Need to get some lights up on here, I reckon. Anyway, got my Ryobi light up there. Getting a bit of, bit of light on the situation. I'm going to wipe it down and, and we'll start painting.
Alright guys, I am out of base coat. And uh, yeah, not finished. So I'm gonna go get just another can of base coat. And um, should be good for the pearl. Should need to do like a heavy, heavy coat with the pearl, so should be all right. Alright guys, I just got back. I've got two more cans made up. So don't want to have to go back again. That should cover it. This has been drying for about an hour now. So, hit it with another coat. Alright guys, used uh, three cans on it, about to use the pearl on it, hopefully it's alright, wasn't very happy with the last two cans, um, they weren't spraying the best, I haven't changed over the nozzle to the, the first one I used which sprayed really good, um, but that didn't change anything, uh, we've got, got good coverage, Hopefully the pearl will go on quite well. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. That'll teach me for not cleaning it slid down and hit it. Wow. Well, <laughs> I know it won't chip. <laughs> oh, shit. Might be enough. Just to give it a quick spray over that area. Hasn't gone through it. Just gonna send it. Damn it. Alright guys, put the pearl on. Not too sure about this guys. But I'm gonna shoot it with some clear. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Well, the missus said it, the paint's okay, so I'm gonna shoot it with some clear. And. Yeah. Be done with it. Alright, guys. My light went flat up there. 
but I did lay down two cans of clear. So 700 grams of paint, clear paint on there. Probably got three passes, maybe even four. I did go around the edges quite a bit. So most likely where there is going to be stone chips. Um, and I did get a drip. I can't see it, but you can probably see it on the video. Anyway, that will get a wet sand in a couple of weeks. And a buff. That should come up nice and clean for the next couple of weeks. It's not going to look very good. The, um, the pearl really pops. I'll, um, probably can't really see it on camera. Yeah. Pearl. Probably going to look completely different to the rest of the panels. Uh, the front panels do need to get done as well, so I'm not too concerned. And if you did see, then my camera slid down and fell on here, but didn't chip, so better than this <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys, I will catch you next episode, bye!